Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Uh, I'm back with a DVD review once again, and this time around I'm reviewing the DVD called The Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning. There you go. So this is the film that started it all off, really. The film starts off in a slaughterhouse. A mother who's working at the slaughterhouse suddenly drops down and starts to give birth to a baby boy. The baby boy that is uh, recently born is found in a dumpster. Then the film all of a sudden jumps to 1969. This same boy is now a man and he is working in the exact same slaughterhouse as to where he was born. In the film it doesn't take long for the killings to begin, which is good really. Uh, you want a horror film and uh, you, know, you want blood and gore, you want action, you want death scenes. And thankfully in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning uh, it doesn't take long for them to start really. The film follows four characters, four young characters, and two of the characters are brothers, and they are going across state to uh, to enrol really for the uh, American army. One is going back to Vietnam, and the other one is meant to be joining his brother and going across to Vietnam to fight for the United States. These four friends uh, they happen to keep running into a group of bikers. In the early stages of the film, uh, the four friends always encounter these bikers, whether it's on the road or in a shop. However, this one member of the biker gang, a woman, uh, happens to chase them down. She gets on a bike and she starts shooting at them and chases the four friends down. And To be honest, this is where the shit hits the fan. As soon as she gets on the scene, this is where the action properly gets into the film. Out of the four young characters that the film follows and moves around, I only recognise two of the characters. Them two being were Jordana Brewster, who is from the Fast and Furious franchise, and Diora Baird, who isn't from much really, but she's from Stan Helsing. Uh, she's been in Wedding Crashers, little clips. She's in a film called Accepted. Uh, but yeah, they were the only two characters that I recognised. Um, the, the Slaughterhouse family, if you want to call them that, the people who did all the killings, I don't recognise any of them. Um, neither any of the biker gang or the other two characters from the four really. Them two as well, Jordana Brewster and Dior Baird are the only two real well-known faces really that aren't recognised out of uh, the film. The main killings of the film are done by a character called Tommy who is well known really to his name as being called Leatherface. Now if you didn't know Leatherface gets his name from the fact that he mutilates people, kills them, and this is where the start of the film gets going. And it's the start of the franchise, should I say. And this is where he, or where the audience, discovers how he gets his mask. And when you first see him, he's wearing a mask and it's not very well put together and it's old and it's dirty and it's dirty leather. Whereas Jordana Brewster's character, her boyfriend, is um, the new model, should I say, for Leatherface. And that's where I won't spoil it anymore. Now Tommy, or Leatherface, he's a big, strong, dumb sort of character. He is fast, but he's big, he's slow, and sometimes uh, there's one point where he's carrying a chainsaw and he's running down a field with it. So you've got to be strong and fast to do that. However, there are... Because he's a bit dumb, he does pick up the tendency to be a bit slow. The four characters really do have some bad luck, whether it's with the biker gang, or with the family, or with Leatherface himself. Every corner, the turn, there seems to be some bad luck for all four of them. One bad part I did find in the film was that the two young men get separated from the two younger women. And... What I couldn't understand is how that the two young men, they must have been mid to late twenties, maybe early twenties, they were young guys, and how they couldn't overpower a old man and like rescue the rest of their friendly group. You know, two young men against a guy who's like pushing sixties, seventies. It's like how could you not do anything? You know, overpower him, punch him, you know, break his hip, something. But that kind of annoyed me. If some guy had captured me and he was like 60 years old and I'd like to think I could 
take him really. But these two guys, they just, you know, they didn't seem to put on much of a fight. And it's like you're going off to enrol in the army and you you can't even fight like a 60, 70 year old man who's torturing you and your two, three other friends. That was a bit of a negative side for me really. On, the, on an overall basis really of the film, I did really enjoy it. It's one film that I do enjoy watching. Uh, I've never properly watched this film all the way through, but I thought I'd buy it, give it a go, see what it's all about. Because I've seen the original 1975 version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I loved it. I thought it was a great film. So I thought I'll give the beginning a go, and I want to collect them all, you know. And uh, yeah, overall it's an enjoyable film. The film is gruesome, with a few twists and turns, with a slight hint of an inbred cannibalistic eating family. The film is based on a true story that actually happened many, many years ago in Texas, in America. There are a few death scenes that are done in the film that are in a bit of awe and excitement and shock, really. Uh, they've been very well done. Uh, I've got the two disc version of the film, and to watch it, they go through all the parts of how they did the a few of the death scenes and really they were pretty well done really. If you like gruesome horror with a true story twist then I think that you will love the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning. Very enjoyable horroristic film. Also guys don't forget Toby WTD gets you 20% off with the devoted gear. Don't forget. But yeah honestly thank you very much for watching my review of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching. Horroristic, I just made that word up.